In this video, I'm going to be showing you the difference between two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional shapes. Now, two-dimensional and three-dimensional, or 2D and 3D, are, are concepts that you're probably familiar with. Maybe you've just never put the, the vocabulary word with, with what it actually is that you know. So it's very basic if we look at these two simple shapes to determine the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional. This first shape here, if you look at it, kind of looks flat. If we assume this entire world is flat and you can't dig underground, then, then we could also assume that this shape is a flat shape. The second shape, however, is not. It clearly kind of juts out. It's sticking out of the ground, the Minecraft ground, um, and, it, and it's three-dimensional, all right? This is a three-dimensional shape. This is a two-dimensional shape. This shape here, you could reach in and you could grab this. This is a cube. You could reach in, if you imagine sticking your hand into the computer screen, you could pull that three-dimensional cube out and you could sort of toss it around. You could throw it at somebody. You could, uh, you know, look at it. It would be a solid three-dimensional uh, figure. You could actually hold on to that that cube there. This shape, however, if you were at, imagine me reaching your hand into the computer screen for this shape, well, you're not going to get much. Unless you kind of scratch the ground up there, you're not going to get much. That is a two-dimensional shape. All right. And like I said, this is a pretty basic concept. You've probably um, sort of recognize this automatically, but maybe just never put two-dimensional and three-dimensional together. So again, this is two-dimensional here. This is a square, a two-dimensional shape. This is a square. This is 3D. This is a cube. Okay. And sometimes you might even hear that a cube is simply a three-dimensional square. Um, and, 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 and that's sort of correct. So this cube here is three-dimensional. This square is not. And we can look at another example. If we look at these two shapes, again, it should be, it should be pretty clear. This is a two-dimensional square here. This is a three-dimensional figure. Two-dimensional, three-dimensional. Now, something that you may or may not have learned yet, you can find the volume of a three-dimensional figure. You cannot find the volume of a two-dimensional figure. Right? And if you haven't learned that or you, you've forgotten, then uh, be sure to check out my video on, on volume and surface area and, and that sort of thing. But for this video, just to summarize, two-dimensional, we have uh, just, you can think of it as almost a flat uh, shape. It's, it's not going to jump out at you. It's not going to trip you if you walk over it. Whereas a three-dimensional, well, that's something that is that you could... If, you, if we use Minecraft as our world, you could reach into your computer screen, you could grab that shape, and you could hold on to it. It is three-dimensional. Or if you're just walking along here, this is something you're going to run into, and it's going to hurt. All right? The two-dimensional shape, you'll just walk right over. So that's just two-dimensional and three-dimensional.